Hi guys, right then, I'm so excited today. Um, I've managed to find a beer that I've been searching for for gone a year and a half, two years. Uh, I went to Florida and I managed to find, well, stumble upon this beer um, called Halai. Looks like Jalai. Pronounced many different ways, but I absolutely loved it. I then found it on draft in a few different places. And I made sure that I ate there most nights in order to get this beer on draft. Since being back, I've managed. I've been trying to shop in US shops and trying to get it shipped over, and the, I just haven't been able to get it until now. A local pub, um, about 20 minutes away from myself, has managed to get one keg of it. There's currently three kegs of this in the entire country, so I'm really stoked to be able to actually have this. Um, fresh, well, as fresh as we will ever get it here in the UK. So I phoned my friend who owns a pub and asked him if he could fill a growler, which he did. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't that. It's was just the only growler I had to hand. Try and give it a vigorous, vigorous-ish pour. Obviously, once it's been transferred to a keg and then opened again, it's all game over. I should shut this. Try and uh, preserve it a bit. As you see, it's a very dark, sort of dark amber beer. Very light carbonation, you might just be able to see the bubbles coming up. Really nice one finger head. Crisp, white, loving it. Now, I've not had this since America. And like I said, I've been looking for this absolutely everywhere. I'm so excited to try it. Unfortunately, I fly out tomorrow to uh, Fort Ventura. So it's in the growler, so I've got to drink it tonight, and I'm all bunged up, and my throat is like razor blades. So I'm hoping it's as good as I remember, and the fact that it's just gonna blow my socks off. God, I've been waiting two years for this. Cheers, guys. Right on the nose, we got really fresh tropical notes. A lot of orange, a lot of mango. It smells really crisp. Here we go. It's fantastic. Straight away you hit with this really fresh orange zest that sort of mellows out into a real fresh mango sort of taste mm. it's 7.2 percent but you really can't taste the alcohol through it it reminds me a bit like like a sort of tropical lilt soft drink uh, it's really fruity oh it just coats the tongue with Tropical fruits. It's amazing. I have to say, and I, ha I just have to say, this is my ultimate favourite beer ever. Okay, it's not as fresh as it would be as if you're in the States, if you're in Florida. This is where this is from, Cigar City Brewing. But this is the best I'm going to get. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Guys, if you're about and you see this, please, dear God, try it. It won't be available in cans, it won't be available in bottles, unless somebody manages to get them in, which like I say, I've tried for two years, it's been really, really hard. But if it's on draft somewhere, have half. I mean, 7.2%, it's not a very sessionable beer, Unfortunately, it goes down like a sessionable beer. It's really light tasting. 
fruity, soft. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I love it. Um, guys, if you ever go to Florida, which is where I found it first, please, you must go and find this um, in some bars, or I found it in, um, it was called Whole Foods. I'm sure it's called Whole Foods, and it was like an organic market, and the selection in there was just unreal. Love it. Well, guys, I've got currently got two growlers full of this, so we're looking at three, four points. My taxi is here at three o'clock in the morning. It's now ten past ten. So unfortunately, it pains me to say this. I'm gonna have to drink.